Corinne. Hi. Hey, good. how are you? I'm good. How are you? I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. Happy Tuesday. Is it Tuesday? I've lost track. I think it is. I think it is. Yeah, I think so too. I know, but Tuesday, Friday, who knows anymore, right? It's all the same now. Right? Yeah. What you got there? Um, I have all sorts of little gardening stuff to make little apartment gardens. All right. All right. Well, everybody who's watching, welcome to, uh, what are we doing things? Doing things. Yeah, we're doing things and we're going to be doing, doing things, all sorts of things all the time. So yeah, we're here to do uh, things. So this is our, our first segment of doing things with uh, House of Korea. Um, mm -hmm. which is the very lovely and talented Carrie Ann's brand. Carrie Ann, tell us a little bit about House of Korea. So House of Korea is, um, it's a sustainable fashion brand and we're all about like reusing and recycling items that we already have on this planet and making dope accessories with them. Like what, what kind of accessories do you guys make? Um, one of our main products are sunnies that we make and we adorn new glasses with all vintage jewelry. So like broken brooches, lost earrings, all sorts of like your grandmother's like old costume jewelry that they didn't want anymore. And we take them and we give it a whole new life. That's awesome. That's awesome. Do you, can you show us some things real quick before we start? Um, uh, we can, we can save it. Yeah. I mean... I'm sure, hold on, I got like a pair over here. I'm gonna step out for a second. We'll be here. <laughs> and another thing that we do besides our sunnies is we make these really fun Glamasaurus bags, which we take vintage bags and we adorn them with these Hella cool little friends that are our gold uh, dinosaurs, our Glamasauruses. Glamasaurus is an awesome name. I love it. Oh, thank you. And then our sunnies. This one's like a pretty tame pair. Oh, can you get a little bit closer? Those look cool. Thanks. They're like oh. oversized and we have a little adornment of like a flower and a leaf on each side. Those are awesome. But I didn't really pull that many out at the time, but... You know, if we're doing this more, maybe I'll have to, like wear a different pair every time or something. We you know? are going to do this more, and I look forward to seeing them. Bing. So tell us what we're going to do today. Okay, so we are making a little apartment garden, and this kind of came about, like, I'm not, like, a gardener by uh -huh. trade at all, you know, but I found this, like, very soothing and, like, joyful to be doing right now while stuck in quarantine. We need, um, that. We need that. Yeah, no, for real. And it's been really awesome, like, watching them grow. So I started it about two weeks ago. And, like, here's my little carrots so Whoa. far. Those are carrots? Yeah, well, they will be one day. Right now, they're just little sprouts. They're awesome. I like them. Have you <laughs> named them? Yeah. So I'm going to show you guys. We're going to talk about how to do that. And then, also, I have, like, some little, like seed surprises that I could send out to some people too, if we wanted. Ooh. Ooh, so anybody who is in the chat commenting right now, um, yeah. you might be one of the lucky winners of a package of seeds. So you can help start your own garden after watching how to do it. Yeah. <laughs> so, so, so tell us about the things we need to build our apartment gardens. Um, okay. So you need, first of all, seeds. And it all depends on what you want to grow. So today I'm going to be planting lettuce, cilantro, and spinach. Nice. Um, you need soil, potting soil. Or I've had these things, and these are really awesome. They're little, like, pellet refills, and they're condensed dirt. Like, they come like this little... It's like, you know those little things that, like, you would get and you would grow like a dinosaur and you'd add water? Same thing happens here. That's pretty awesome. Yeah, so, like, you add water to it and it expands to be, like, this big. That's really cool. It reminds me of those little snake things that you used to get and light on fire as a kid. Oh, yeah, yeah, right? 
Yeah. Oh my God, I haven't thought about those in so long. Um, and then I'm gonna show you how to like, all about like recycling. I'm gonna show you like how to upcycle your toilet paper rolls. Hot commodity right now. Seriously, and like, what do you do with these? I'm gonna show you. Um, or you can do it in a shot glass or something. Okay. And then okay. water, and then we're also gonna need like, it's important to like label it at the end so you know what you're growing. Cause yeah, yeah I don't know if that's a carrot or not later. One day, one day you will. One day I'll find out. You okay, so we're gonna start with- If you don't label it. It's like veggie surprise or maybe just like a spice of some sort. I mean, herb, catnip, like who knows here. <laughs> Okay, so you're going to start with your toilet paper rolls. And you're going to cut them in half. Like so. And then you want to fold them to like make a square. So you're going to fold them once. And then you're going to fold them again. Da -da -da. And then you're gonna take your scissors. So if I didn't mention scissors, you're gonna need scissors. And then you're gonna like cut up maybe like a half inch, if you can see, like up on the edge on your corner that you made, your little folded moment. And you're gonna do it on all four. And then you're gonna fold it like you would like a cardboard box. I don't know how else to explain that. You know, when you do like two down, one up, then you shove one in, you pull it out. Like that. Yeah, a little, little cross cross cover. I know what you're talking about. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. And I've then that before. becomes your little pot guy. It's and so then it also has like the little hole so it can drain because you don't want like your little roots to rot in there you know you could you could use those as shipping boxes for the seed packets for the winners also totally totally and then i figured i'd also send like the little pods because these are already condensed so that way you'd have like your own dirt and stuff too to go that would be great and then i want to see what everybody grows What about you, David? Do you grow things? Have you ever planted things? Um, metaphorically speaking, I've planted seeds, you know? Uh, <laughs> okay. I don't know. I used, to, I used to garden with my mom back when I was a kid. It was like one of my favorite activities, you know, getting getting dirty and playing with dirt. It was like a, a parent-sanctioned way to play with dirt. It was the best. Right? And like, okay. Like, yeah, play with this dirt. Yeah, no, but my mom grew tons of stuff. She was she was always a a, a gardener, and and um, you know, when I go visit my dad, he makes me weed his garden. So I guess that's like kind of similar. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, yeah, that's awesome. But but now that I have all this time at home, maybe I will. Maybe I will. I think now now that I'm learning how to do it, like might yeah, as mine as well, right? Like. And like I said, this is all new for me, too. So even like as it's growing, I'm like, oh, my God, what do I do with you next? Like, I got to put you in a bigger pot. Like, that's another thing to tackle. Both yeah, that'll be episode time. 30, making bigger pots. We'll get to ceramics. We'll get to I'm more still complex. making. I'm going to make about eight of these little pots. So okay, we're just going to chat as I make these. All right, cool, cool. Um, anybody who's watching who's interested in winning a seed packet, um, let us know in the comments. Maybe you'll get one. I still think these are just cute as tiny little boxes. Like, you don't even have to do anything else. It's just like making tiny boxes. All right, one more. And it's up to you. Like, I just folded it before I cut it. That's okay. Like, get wild. This is your garden. <laughs> 
So what else? Talk to me. Um, what else? What else? Um, you know, I think the dogs are actually tired of me now too. Can't hear you. Can't hear me. Can you hear me? Yeah, I can hear you. I think if oh no. Oh no. Can you hear me now? Yeah. I, I don't know, maybe it's on me then. I'm not saying anything really exciting, but um can you hear me? Hmm. Maybe I can um, interpretive dance what I'm saying so that you, can you see me? I can see, I can't hear. But I mean, I can just keep talking too and just, you know, go through this here. I could try it. Um, <laughs> yeah, I, well. You can watch yeah. me. <laughs> no. um, but um, maybe if I just start. <laughs> That's my pot dance. It's also good if you do that. I think the seeds might like it. It's good yeah. for growth. You gotta play the music okay. and tell Not them jokes, sure. right? Um, 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 um. Hello. Hey, I can hear you. Mm -hmm. Okay, well, next we have dirt. Should I just I keep dirt. going? Yeah, we have yeah. dirt here, right? So you're going to get your potting soil, and it's going to be, like, really dry. So you're going to add water. Yeah. You're going to add water to it. A little bit. Water. Dirt. And then we're going to mix it up. Mix, mix, mix. It's kind of like your... You know, you want to get, like, the consistency of, like, brownies, maybe? For all y'all cooking brownies. Little mud brownies. Mm. This is the first time dirt has ever made me hungry. <laughs> okay. I feel like that's pretty good. Want to see? Delicious. Uh, Okay, so now we're gonna fill our little tiny pots with dirt. And love. I'm using a spoon if you wanna use your hand to get dirty. By all means, live your best life and do that. Yeah, get rid of that spoon, fuck the spoon. Get in that dirt. This is great. I think us having conversations that the other person can't hear is probably more entertaining. What do you guys think? Should we just keep it like this, not fix it? Okay, so I'm just filling these over here, and yeah, I'm just gonna talk about it. Just filling away. Also, like, if you can't get, I ordered my potting soil on um, Amazon, and it came right to my door. So you when did you order? That. Oh, you can't hear me. I know, I know. I'm sorry. <laughs> Guys, when do you think she ordered it? Oh, wait, now I can't hear you. I don't know. I feel like the audio might be on um, on my end. I don't know. I don't know. But, you know, we're just gardening here. So when we, should, we should change this. Okay, to so I'm going to fill Jeff. about, I guess, all of them. Why not?
And you want to like pack it in, you don't, but you want to like, you don't want to pack it too tight because the roots need to be able to like explore in there. They need to like get around, you know? And then you can use like a pencil or a toothpick or something. So once you have like them all filled, you're gonna make a little hole in the center and that's where you're gonna put your little seed. You don't wanna like put them in like too much. You wanna like, from the research I've been doing, you wanna just put them in like double the size of the seed. So like don't put it a half inch. If it's a little baby seed, just like a little, a little in there. So this is um, loose leaf salad bowl lettuce. Oh yeah. And I love lettuce so much, so I'm really excited. Like I hope this just flourishes. And I'm using just like, it's funny, like a little cap seed. And you're gonna like, here's my little lettuce seeds. And you're just gonna put a couple of them in each one. You can say boop too, it helps. Boop. Oh, the beep boop? And then you're gonna cover them up. And look, there's my lettuce. And I'm gonna label. What's like really dope about the toilet paper roll is you can write right on it. Um, but like my shot glasses, like, I don't know, I just made like little things to like label them and put the date too. So, cause time is like, what is time anymore? At least it's good to like know when you started this, right? So lettuce, what is today's date? Day 34. Fourth? Seventh, seventh, April 7th, everybody. In case you didn't know. Can you just label it? Can you draw pictures on them? Mm -mm -mm. And if you like, I don't know, if like people are in here and chatting and stuff and you have um, tips and tricks that you want to share about this that like maybe I don't know because like I said I'm new to this like tell us like tell us what you're planting tell us what you think just talk to us okay next I'm going to do my cilantro and then always read to like on the back of the seeds like what they say for like what to do because everybody is a little different here. Ooh, these are cool. So the cilantro seeds, see if you can see them. They're a little bigger than the lettuce. Interesting, not what I expected. So these two little guys are gonna be my cilantros. It might be a good idea to label before you put your dirt in because now my toilet paper rolls are getting all wet and like hard to write, but you know, that's okay. You should name them. You should really name all of them. David, do you know sign language? <laughs> Me either. So I wouldn't know what you're saying if you did it. Uh, that's okay. Can we name the plants? All right, so then again, I'm using my toothpick. I'm making a little hole and I am dropping. I'm going to put two in each. I feel like that sounds good to me. I might do one more cilantro because I really like cilantro and I want these to work. Bye. 
cilantro. <laughs> We're going to call that one Sandy. Then I'm going to cover it up just a little. You don't want them to struggle having to like come out of there. They're working hard, these little seeds. Okay, those those are those are Betty and Boop. All right, and then spinach. The spinach is apparently from New Zealand. It's very exciting. Oh, it matures in sixty-five days. Ooh, exotic spinach. Oh my gosh! So this spinach is not a true spinach, but the leaves resemble spinach. I don't know what that means, but we're going to find out. Wow. All right. So these are the spinach seeds. <laughs> Look at them. They're different. And then I have these two guys left. And then I'm going to put one in the little pot expander thing. Pellet grow. And then again with our toothpick. Oh, actually, let me see. Ooh, so these guys, they're bigger the seeds for the spinach. Can Thanks you see then. it? Not really. Way bigger than like the lettuce that we did the first time. So these, we're gonna put them actually like a half inch into the soil. Cause they're bigger. So here we go. Get a day load. So I imagine that I'm putting these in a very small guy. Like I'm gonna have to repot these like. Yeah, that one's name is Popeye Fugazi. Yeah. I think, I don't know. <laughs> Repot them sooner, hopefully, once they grow. Okay. And that this one I like yeah, no, that made a little while ago, so he's a little dry. So I have a little spray bottle. That bottle is oh awesome. Oh my god, it's such a cute little spray bottle, and I'm it's gonna amazing. spray it. Get that. Feel that from the some dry. And then, boop. And this one I'm gonna put in a shot glass. So what's good about like the shot glass when you're using this thing is it has like room to to drain. I'm putting two in there. I'm not sure if that's a good idea or a bad idea, but hmm, we'll find out. We need friends. In here. All right, so spinach. There we go. So the one that's in the shot glass, I'm going to take a little piece of cardboard and create like a little label. Please write Popeye Fugazi on the label. Seven, spinach, like so. Okay, so then what are the, all these little cardboard plant seeders gonna live in, right? I'm using like, like a little takeout container. So, and they fit like perfectly in here. See, like right in there and they're all labeled. Um, and then it's good, so I can water it too from the bottom, so I'm not like killing the seed as it's trying to grow. So those guys are all in there. I'm gonna spray it all just so it's like a little extra moisture in there. And then cover it up. And then these guys are ready to go. So if you don't have something like this though, like you might not, you may or may, you may not, you can do like little sandwich bags. So you can take your little 
sandwich bag and kind of like make your own little greenhouse in a way. So how these guys have been living in my windowsill is like in a little sandwich bag to create a little greenhouse. And these are going to be daisies one day. I'll show you. I'm pretty stoked about these. And it's in like the cutest little teacup. Like, I don't know, cute little things. Are, they just like get me, right? Like, I'm just like, ugh. So like, this is my favorite right now. And they're growing. Um, yeah, so then what you'll do is you'll just take your little plastic bag. And you can reuse them and just kind of like tuck it in like this, place it down somewhere. And there you go. Um, or another thing that I did with this is if you have, if you're doing it in a shock glass say so you don't have plastic bags, I have this like plastic container and you can see all the moisture on it and stuff too. Cause it's been, I don't know, greenhousing. Very moist. Just like that. And this is going to be a chive one day. This little guy's growing. Yeah, like a little chive. Um, yeah. And then, I mean, we can make some more. Should we make some more? We got more? Yeah. Are there any comments or questions? Is anybody questioning anything? Does anybody so, have any tips? So many things. So many things. Like, we have so many comments. I did. It's up here. Oh, we'd be commenting. Who's going to do this? I want to know who's going to do this. Who wants to do this? Because, like, if I'm making my way to the post office, y'all are growing some crops here. I'm in. I'm in. I'm going to grow all the carrots, but I'm going to name them. Yes. Do a plant dance. I mean, there's so many different plant dances. It really depends on your plant that you want and like the life that you want your plant to have. Oh, 24 carrots only. Okay. That's what we grow here, 24 carrots. Little like spirit finger dance move for your plants. You can do that. Mm -hmm. <laughs> all right let's do more time i have some more things to plant so let me know what you think i should do i have a cucumber broccoli a bee yo i got a squash yo my apartment's gonna be wild in here gonna be a swag it. dance you want like um I mean, you have to channel your inner swag if you want your plant to have swag, you know? Like, depends. This is like an R&B, like, like, soothing, like, kind of plant moment, like, or, you know. <laughs> All right, I'm putting more water in this dirt. And like, what are you guys like growing at home if you're not growing anything? Like, do you have house plants? We're growing, growing older. I feel like with all these plants I'm planting, my apartment, it's going to be wild. You're like, going to have so much oxygen? Yeah. Like, 
I'm going to need, like, I don't know. I'm going to have to, like, <laughs> make, like, a planter to go out my window for all these things to grow. Because, like, I also don't have any outdoor space either. So I'm just, like, total windowsill trying to <laughs> grow some crops here. <laughs> All right, I'm going to, did anybody answer on what they think I should do? Oh my God. All right, hot to chaw has four kinds. Tomato, basil, peas, cucumbers, kale, summer, oh, damn hot to chaw. Okay. I want to see all the pictures of your plants. Oh, squash. All right. I opened the cucumber. You're lucky. Squash. Okay, I'm excited. These are early yellow straight neck squash. I actually got these at Dollar Tree too. Last time I was there, and they were four for a dollar. Like four different. They call it in Jamaica. Cucumba. Cucumba. All right, I can't hear David. I'm just like vibing with his facial expressions right now. I'm loving it. People younger, ninety-five percent water, kidney cleanser, great appetite, fiber, good regulator. I don't know. That was a surprise to me. But they look like little pumpkin seeds. Can you see? Ta-da! All right, Mars, since you requested this, these are going to be the Mars squash plants. Mars. Ooh, too much water. And then once these grow, I'm going to send you this plant so you can eat it. All right, here we go. I'm doing the same things that I was doing before. I just like creating a little, let me make sure. Okay, so I'm only gonna do these about a half inch down as well. And I didn't put enough dirt, so here we go. Carrie Ann, you're doing amazing. I would watch this all day long, 24 hours. All right, little squash guy is ready to go. And I'm gonna open up this guy, put him back in here. Really getting dirty now. Mud everywhere. I'm so excited for all these. And then I can do one more, so. What's the last one? I got broccoli too. Cucumba. Okay. So again, we have our toilet paper roll. We squish it in half and then we squish it in half again. Double squish. All right, cucumbers. Cucumbers it is. Cukes, I love cukes. All right. Guys, this is so exciting. I'm getting so much done right now. I feel like I've been so lazy. And like, thank you all for coming and like doing this just to like give me a reason to do these things right now. Like, definitely needed this. Let's be real. Does anybody else feel like that? Like, Usually I'm such a busy person. I'm like, oh my God, I just got to do so much all the time. And I'm like, oh, I just wish I had all this time. And now that I do, I'm like, like paralyzed by like nothing to do in a way. Like I have my like to-do list, but then I'm like, nope, nope. I'm going to watch Tiger King again. Like, you know, I know David, is that? You're, you're David Exotic? Are you channeling? <laughs> oh, for sure. Thank God. Thank God. That's why I love you. Yes. Amazing. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. He's my spirit animal. I have to get you like a fake eyebrow ring. That bitch Carol Baskin. Yeah, seriously. Seriously. Gone. I can't get that back. 
But, like, at least I feel like Tiger King really brought us all together right now. And, like, it did. thank you, Joe, Carol Baskin. I'm what? listening to a podcast, too, um, and it's called, like, Big Tiger People. And it's just, like, more, informa- more information about these people for you. I want to see the Doc Antle documentary. Like, like, whoa, that guy? Oh my god, is the new episode today? Because, like, living for that right now. I need that in my life. Yeah, no, and we don't need that at all. Like, at all. And what's, like, really screwed up, right? And, like, correct me if I'm wrong, but, like, Carol's the one that's, like, stopped being, trying to stop people from owning them. Yet she's, like, made out to be the bad guy in this, but she's, like, trying to stop everybody from owning these big cats. I mean, yeah, <laughs> she did, I guess, apparently, maybe, beat her husband to a tiger. Do you guys think she did? A hundred or no? hundred percent. hundred percent. I do, too. I do, too. I do, too. Wait, can you hear me now? She's America's villain right now. No. Oh, this is, like, super watery. I think I need to get more dirt. Hold on. Oh, and here, you can see my big bag of dirt. All right. I'm gonna add a little bit more water. Hey, David, say something. Hello. Oh my God, I'm back. We're back. Thank God. I've been saying funny things this whole time. <laughs> I feel like I'm just like talking like a silent movie. I'm just like. I think that made it funnier, honestly. <laughs> I wonder what happened. Well, that's cool. Great to hear your voice again. You're not no, I missed you. I know, I missed you. Too long. You're doing great, by the way. I would honestly watch this 24 hours a day. Oh, my God. It's my favorite video programming show I've ever seen. Carrying on gardening with toilet paper rolls? Yes. Oh. Well, so on our next segment, too, we have my... My good friend, Sydney Hawes, and she's awesome. You're going to love her. You've never met her. Um, but I've heard a- so much about her. What? But I've heard so much about her. I Right? Yeah. She's a, a big player in my life. I love her. I feel and like she's going to be doing um, DIY, like, T-shirt grocery bags. Which is fun. So, like, you have an old t-shirt. I'm not going to explain too much because she's going to be doing that, but she's awesome. And then um, Susan, who you've met, is going to be doing a hand sanitizer, DIY hand sanitizer. These are yeah. two very, very useful things. Um, yeah. I, did. I need both of those things right now, so, like, that's right. And then, like, if there's anything else you guys, like, want to know, like, we want to know what you want to know. Like, tell us what you want to learn. If there's anything. And if there's not, that's okay, too. But, yeah. Like, you know, tell us in the comments. I'm going to start putting together a list of of things that I want to learn because there's definitely a lot of things that I need to to know that I don't know. Um, When Wait, wait. Before you plant that next one, can we go back and name all of the plants that you've already planted? Oh, my God. I think people have emotional attachment to some of these plants already, and we want to see them grow up. Like, we can check back in and check on them and, you know, just see how they're doing. And I think people need some, 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 some names. People can, like, virtually adopt this. Like, people can, like, virtually adopt them and name name a plant. For less than a cup of coffee a day. (laughs) You, too, can name a plant in Carrie Ann's apartment. Okay, all right, so I'm going to pick one up, and then you guys are, you guys, like, I got spinach, cilantro, squash, like, how do you want to do this? Well, Tell we need to see them. Need. We, need to see, we need to see their homes, and then we'll figure out how okay. to name them. Do you have your Sharpie ready to name them? 
Of course I do. Born ready with the Sharpie. Okay. All right. I'd like everyone to meet little cilantro. Born on four seven or Oh no, I already I already named that one. That one's Sandy for sure. Sandy. Sandy? Okay. Yeah. Sandy the cilantro. Yeah. All right, Sandy. Perfect. All right, next up we have, this is so fun, lettuce. Little lettuce. Guys, any, any name suggestions in the comments for this little lettuce number yeah, one? Yeah, little lettuce. Here, maybe if I do this, you guys can get a better view of this little lettuce. Let's go with Larry. Larry the lettuce? Yeah, Larry lettuce. All right, I dig that. Oh, oh, we've got a comment. We want to name this lettuce Susan. Susan, Susan, the, all right, hold on. I got another lettuce. I already wrote Larry on this one. Oh, okay, that's Larry. Okay, and then that's okay, look at this one. It's even cuter, Susan lettuce, guys. Let us introduce to you Susan. <laughs> I made that terrible joke in the comments earlier. Damn it. I missed that. I missed that. Uh, Susan. Susan. Okay. Um, we got a little spinach. Oh, no, no, no. That's, um, that's, uh, wait, I, I think I named one of the spinaches. I forget what it was. <laughs> um, um, I think it was, uh, I, I, I don't remember. Damn. Oh. Oh, yeah, yeah, it was Popeye Fugazi. Okay, I'm going to need a spelling, please. Popeye. Okay. F-U-G-A-Z-I. All right, Popeye Fugazi. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Popeye Fugazi. I think he's going to grow up to be nice and strong. I think so, too. That's very suiting. All right, next up, I got another baby cilantro that needs a name. Um, what do we think? I'll put that one and then I'm gonna pull up the next one. Ooh, I think it's important not to get these too wet. I'm gonna have to like stick one in that one cause I drenched it. All right, cilantro. Um, what about, uh... Carol? For Carol Baskin? <laughs> no. No. <laughs> no Baskinry. No um, Baskin. No Baskin. Uh, <laughs> how about Doc? Doc? Oh, no. Nope, Sally. Sally, Sally, Sally Lantro. Sally, oh! Sally Lantro. Are we, like, naming plants or is this a drag show right now? Like, I love this. <laughs> well, yeah, they grow up. They can grow up however they want. We'll support That's them. That's right. Nope. We will. Quavo's very excited by this whole... Quavo! Oh, look at that leg right now. Right? He's just living life. Love him. A good All right, guy. Sally Lantro. That was a good one. And I got another cilantro. Oh, Q Money, good one. Good one. Okay, and then I got another spinach. And I also have to, we have to name two cucumber plants that have yet to be planted. So I'm going to start planting those while we're thinking about spinach and cilantro. Can we name one of the um, cucumbers Barrington? Barrington the cucumber. Yeah. I dig that. Does that, yeah. Like that. Making a little hole. Boop. Boop. Oh, I'm so glad I can hear you again. I know, this is so nice. <laughs> um, your little watering bottle is the coolest thing I've ever seen. It looks like you stole it from Daffy Duck or something. I love it. Yeah, I do. I love things. I just love little things. And if it has like a cool look to it, I'm like, yes. And it has a really great spray. <laughs> it's awesome. Probably can't see that at all, but it's a really lovely mist. All right, who was this again? I'm sorry. I got That's... distracted by this misting. Barry? Barry? Barrington? Oh, Barrington. Barry for short. 
Yeah. And today is four seven twenty twenty. Whoa. <laughs> nice. All right, this is the other cucumber. All right, guys, I have another cucumber, cilantro, and spinach that need a name. Um, we had a name suggestion of Lexi earlier. I think it was supposed to be for a cilantro, but you know, whatever. A cilantro. Latrice, I like that. Latrice. Oh, Latrice the lettuce. Well, Latrice the spinach? Or Latrice the cilantro? Wait, what do you have left? I got a cucumber, a cilantro, and a spinach. Oh, and I got the two squashes that I need to make little things for. Can we call the squashes Mario and Luigi? <laughs> yes. Yeah. You got like the Mario mustache right now. Dude, seriously, it's my first time ever having a mustache. I was watching um, The Spy with Sasha Baron Cohen on Netflix. Did you see it? Uh, maybe, but I can only imagine his mustache. A lot of strong must mustaches in that movie. <laughs> like a lot of strong mustaches. I was inspired. Are you inspired by it? For sure. That's beautiful. So now I think I'm just going to keep it forever. I think I'm just a mustache guy now. <laughs> April 2020 became a mustache guy. They quarantine. Yeah. All right, so we have Mario and Luigi. Dope. Um, also, I'm using um, my cardboard is from a DiGiorno pizza box. Not delivery, it's DiGiorno, so you know. But support your local pizza shops and get Absolutely. delivery. Absolutely. Shout out to Roma Pizza, Pino's Pizza, Spumoni Gardens. Oh, 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 and big shout out to um, um, Latrice. I'm going to do the spinach as Latrice. Yeah, I think that's right. OK. Cucumber, I need two more names. Um, wait, which, what are the two names for? Uh, cilantro and a cucumber. Um, all right, so let's call the cilantro one, um, let's call the cilantro, um, pizza. <laughs> okay. Yeah. And then let's call the other one Carmine. Okay. Carmine the cucumber. That's really cute. It is cute. I like it. I like it. Shout out to Carmine's Pizzeria. Dope. Oh my God. I'm so glad everybody has a name. Yeah. Now we can like check in on them and, you know, just really relate to those plants because because they're stuck inside the same way we are you know totally absolutely and they're just like trying to like figure out their new normal you know just trying to grow into the sunlight as much as possible just want, I'm craving that sun these guys like just like us i've never related more to a plant in my life seriously seriously and i'm like thoroughly enjoyed like watching them grow and like checking in on them and I'm like oh my god nothing and then one day it's like holy shit look at that and it's like very exciting yeah and now you have other things to talk to other than toast <laughs> exactly I'm like what up little bean plant well now, now they I have names. bean stock too now they have names so you don't have to call them like hey little bean plant you can actually call them by their names and like really develop that bond you know okay well now that we're saying that i have two carrots that need a name carly and carrot top carrot top the carrot <laughs> okay it can be a human's name it can be a carrot's name carrot top Carly. 
And you can use whatever, like, like I'm using shock glasses, but like you can get creative in what you put it in. Just make sure you, you wash it out really, really good. All right, Carrot Top, Carly. These guys are getting so big. Okay, I got another one. I got a chive. Name the chive Shuck, so he can be Shuck the chive. <laughs> like S-C-H-U-C-K? Yeah. Shuck. It's like Chuck, but, you know, with the ah, Shuck. <laughs> Yeah. All right, we got Shuck. All right, I got two daisies. I'm just like, what else do I have? <laughs> we'll just start naming random objects in your house now. I'm like, okay, I got this little zebra right here. Name it. <laughs> that doesn't look like the zebra. That looks like a plant in a shot glass. Oh, that looks like a zebra. Never mind. Zebra. Okay. All right, two daisies, go. Donald and Daffy. Yeah, Daffy's good. My God, I'm so glad people watched with us. That's fun, you guys. Thank you. This is so fun. So fun. I'm definitely going to start doing this. I need other things to talk to. I think my dogs are tired of talking to me. Are they like, why are you here so much? Like, I love you, but like, this is my time right now. <laughs> yeah, seriously, I think they're like actually kind of, kind of annoyed, concerned. I don't know. Yeah. But it's yeah. weird. How do they feel? It like, this is makes like, me... like every hour, I'm like, hey, what are you doing? What are you doing? What are you doing? And she's like, please, like. <laughs> yeah, Toast has always been kind of a loner anyway, so I'm sure she's just like... She's like, excuse you. Yeah. Excuse you. But yeah, that's... And like, who am I sending? Do we have like a list? Did we compile a list of who I can send little seeds to? Um, yeah, I am going to... Um, if anybody wants... A seed packet, just send a direct message to Stimulus TV and um, we'll get you seed packets. Yeah. And then you guys can show us what you name them and we can watch your little seeds grow up too. And then all the seeds can be friends once we're out of quarantine. We can. Yeah. At that point, the community we'll garden. Mm -hmm. We can start a community garden. Oh my God. Yes. I can't wait for that. I can't wait to like hug everybody. I know. That's one of the things I miss most is just like hugs. All right. Same. Carrie Ann, um, I cannot wait to see you in person for a hug. Um, yes. But I'm also really excited to see whatever craft we do next time on doing things with House of Korea. Thank you so much. That was an amazing first episode. I learned a lot. I laughed a lot. And you're the best. We'll see you soon. I had so much fun. Thank you for having me. Thanks. Yeah. Bye. Bye.
This is what it look like right before you fall. Stumbling around, you've been guessing your direction, except you can't see it all. And I don't have a name, I don't have a name. No. Who am I to blame? Who am I to blame? No. And I cannot be changed, I cannot be changed. No. Trust me, I've tried. I'd stand up right at the start of the line, drawing circles. Mm-hmm. Well, I drink my whiskey, you sip your wine. We're doing well, sitting watching the world falling down its decline. I can keep you safe, I can keep you safe mm. Do not be afraid, do not be afraid You're feeling sorry I'm feeling fine Don't you put any more stress on yourself It's one day at a time It's getting pretty late, getting pretty late And I find it goes around like the ends. I keep counting the time, drawing circles. Till you're making you feel fine Turn the heat up Better believe we're gonna shine Make your body wine Baby, the pleasure is all mine To my people Who you regulating the dance floor Better step to your business And handle yours How we do it Making your people Just wanna bounce and get busy Because you know that we always Hit you off What you say? You're wondering why you're feeling the force And don't you worry Cause you'll be ready to floss More heat cause I always have put you on And blow the spots At the very second I'm gone Get your groove on Now that you're tired I hope your body be cooping Because we're keeping you moving That's what we're doing And you know we're gonna Make your 
everybody say yeah. I wanna know where my road dogs is at. I wanna know where my live women is at. We gonna make your body feel well. We gonna make your body say yeah. Everybody with your hand real high. Real high. And let me see you all put them up in the sky. Come on, making my niggas just say oh. Word up and making you women just say oh. Baby, come on, bringing it to you with many ways. We making it, taking you people right through another phase. Come on, we rocking it, baby. That's how we dropping it, baby. There ain't no stopping it, baby. I know we driving you crazy, and then we hit with the greatest of all time. No matter what you do, baby, we gon' shine, and you know we're gonna. Yeah.